Ever struggled with understanding the differences between site and location in Revit? Or felt confused about all of those origin points, the internal origin, project base point, or survey point? You are not alone. In this video, I'm going to break down these concepts step by step and I'll show you how they are connected in the Revit coordinate system. By the end, you will have a clear understanding of how to handle a Revit project with precision. No more guesswork when it comes to site setup. Let's dive in. So let's start with some theoretical information before we uh, jump into Revit and um, uh, know exactly what is the difference between site and location inside Revit. So uh, we all uh, remember this layout from the previous video, this layout for this house, and we all know this layout is a part of a bigger layout, which is uh, the neighborhood layout for this uh, project. Um, so when we are talking about the location of our building to the surroundings on the same layout, like the location, uh, this is our building. So the location of this building to the surroundings, to, to uh, different houses or to the roads or to the infrastructure or whatever, this relationship between those locations, we are talking about site. Uh, when we are talking about the location of our building to the origin point, we are talking about uh, site. When you are talking about the location of our uh, origin point of the of the building to the uh, coordinate system, we are talking about site. So um, when we are dealing with site, we are dealing with GU uh, referenced layout like this one. And I will explain to you later what uh, we mean by geo-references. And we are talking also about the project base point settings. And uh, you have to decide the location of the project base point correctly inside Revit. We are talking about survey point and the location of the survey point and the relationship between the survey points and the project base point. And we're also talking about the coordinate system, what which coordinate system that we are using, and so on. All of this information we are going to uh, deal with while we um, working on our site file. And actually, this is our topic. But we know we will know also how to set the location correctly and what is the difference between site and location, and how to set also the location correctly inside Revit. Um, when you are talking about location, we are talking about the um, uh, location of this building relatively to our Earth. So we basically talking about uh, latitude uh, and longitude. For this process, you will have to know the address of this building, and that's it. The location is important for uh, solar uh, analysis, like uh, lighting and shadow and, uh, and so on, and also energy analysis, like uh, the heat and cold and so on, and also some wind analysis for the structural engineer. So any kind of solar energy wind analysis, the location is very important for us. But when we are talking about the site, the site we are talking about accurate coordination between different layouts. So this is uh, the uh, purposes uh, of each one of them. So before we jump to Revit, we I have to introduce you to uh, the Revit origin points. It's very important to know about them and the difference between them before we move to any uh, practical uh, explanation. So Revit has actually three origin points and all of the three are different for different purposes. So the first one is the internal origin. The second one is the project base point, And the third one is the survey point. So let's start with the internal origin. The internal origin is starting from version 2021, I think, or 2020. I'm not sure about this piece of information, but you will find the, the shape of the internal origin like this, uh, y-axis and x-axis, as you can see here. 
and um, uh, it's project related which it, which means like it has nothing to do with anything global it's always related to your file to your project to your building and also it's for linking purposes like the main purpose of this uh, internal origin is to uh, do accurate and smooth linking between uh, Revit and another Revit model or mainly with AutoCAD. And I'm going to show you how to use internal origin for linking purposes in the right way. And uh, as I said, it's a project related, like it's related only to the project file that we are working on. So it has no use in the site file. So site file, that means we are going to have a separate file for the site. Yes, I'm talking about the right workflow. You have to have separate file for your site. The site cannot be set inside your project. It can be, but I'm talking about the right workflow and this workflow, you, it's going to be used in a bigger skills project in a bigger companies. So this is what I'm talking about right now. Site can be set in the same project file, but this is not the optimal workflow. So the internal origin has nothing to do with a site file. When we are working on a site file, we don't worry about the internal origin at all cannot be moved. It's default in the Revit settings. You will find the uh, internal origin uh, in specific place and you cannot move it. Also, it's usually be assigned or we assign our project base point on the top of uh, our internal origin. Um, and I'm talking about also best practice. It can be in a different place, but I'm talking about best practice. It's uh, more likely to assign your project base point here on the top of your internal origin. Now let's talk about the project base point. Usually the project base point simple is going to be like this, a circle and cross inside. And uh, it's also project related, like it's related only to my building, my project, my file. It's not related to uh, any global system. And also it's the origin point of our project or the origin point of our building, because I'm talking project in the Revit language. Project in Revit means file. So it's the origin point of this file only. And also it's usually the intersect of two axes. I'm talking about best practice as well. So most of the time we make it the intersect between two axes because axis usually is a common language between different discipline. But anyways, it must be a common common point between different disciplines. This is the most important thing about the project base point. And also it has no use in our site file because it's project related. It's only related to this file that we are working on. So that means if you have different files, each one can have a different project base point. And I'm going to explain this in details later on. So then the uh, survey point the survey points the simple will be like this, this triangle and also the cross inside. And uh, the survey points is layout related or site related, which means relating my project to the global layout or a bigger layout skills. Uh, more details coming soon. And uh, the origin point of the coordinate system or a physical known point. This usually is the origin point of the coordinate system that we are using, or could be also any physical knowing point. It's not always the uh, origin point, but most of the cases we make it the origin point of our coordinate system. And mainly it's the responsibility of our survey department or the survey engineers. Last but not least is it has no use in our project or in a different meaning, we don't set the survey points in the project base point. As I said before, it could be done, it can be done, but it's not the optimal workflow. And in those tutorials, I'm giving you the optimal workflow that you can follow while uh, setting your site file. 
So now let's jump to uh, one of the layout and uh, I'm going to show you the um, project space point and the survey point inside this layout file. So as you can see here, I have uh, uh, the site file or the layout. As I said before, this file uh, you should have from the survey engineers and um, it should be GU referenced. I will talk about the what I mean by GU referenced later, but for now on, I want to show you what is a where is a project base point and where is a survey point on such a file and how we can translate this into Revit. So uh, like, let, like, let's see, um, I think this is our building here and this building will be a separate file in Revit or a separate project in Revit. This file will have a project base point, which will be the intersect between the A axis and four axis here, as you can see. This will be the uh, project base point for this building which means like this building can have a separate uh, project base point. So it might be the intersect between this, uh, those two axes. It might be also the corner of uh, a physical column. It could be anywhere. It's mainly a project related. It depends on your file. But when we are talking about survey points, we are talking about the origin of my coordinate system. Like this project uh, in Egypt and mainly in the red belt coordinate system, we're using the red belt coordinate system. If you don't know what we're talking about, I advise you to go back to uh, the previous video and know what exactly we are talking about. And uh, for uh, the red belt coordinate system, we have an origin point for this coordinate system, which uh, was in Cairo. But anyways, this origin point of the coordinate system will be my survey point for this project, which means if I clicked or if I typed ID, which is the, the command that brings you the coordinate of any point, and I can click at any point here. So let's click on this point. And as you can see here, I have X axis and Y, uh, sorry, I have X coordinate and Y coordinate. And those coordinates have um, specific numbers. This numbers mean that this point is, um, let's do it again. It was uh, 621 meter away from my origin point of the coordinate system, which means that this point, this survey point is somewhere here. And this file is georeferenced. It means that this file is coming from the survey departments in the right coordinates. I just want to remind you with the coordinate system that we uh, talked about last time. And uh, actually, this is the red uh, built coordinate system that will be used. And the origin point of um, this um, coordinate system is here, but it has false easting and false, false northing, which means that the zero could be somewhere here. But anyways, you now know what which point exactly that we are talking about. So this point or this layout is related to this origin point, which means that any coordinate that I will measure, uh, measure now, and this here, for example, the reference point, and we have the exact um, coordinate for this reference point, as you can see here, this coordinates is related to my origin point of the coordinate system, which called Egypt Red Belt. So the origin point of this coordinate system or the zero point of this coordinate system will be my survey point. So the survey points will be somewhere here, for example. This will be my survey point and the project base point will be always different from project to project. Like for this project will be here, for this project could be here, for this project could be the corner of the column or whatever. So this is exactly the difference between the survey points and the project base point explained on uh, AutoCAD layout. Now you know the differences between site 
location and origin point. What's next? In my upcoming video, I will show you how to create a proper site file in Revit and how to set location correctly. We will also cover shared coordinates, why they matter, and how to make your projects align perfectly in Revit. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button and stay updated. See you next video.